Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, given how close we are to the festive season, I decided to start some Christmas content. I was having a think about some things I could do, and remembered an old festive episode of the Pokemon anime. Honestly, I was searching through Prime in various websites and was struggling to view it when I hit another revelation. This episode is one of the banned ones. I misremembered this episode's content and thought Team Rocket bombed Santa's workshop and that's why it was removed from syndication. But no, it was the Pokemon Jinx which caused the removal, and that definitely makes sense after viewing the episode. According to Bulbapedia, a Pokemon fan page, this was why. This episode was pulled from rotation shortly after it aired due to accusations of Jinx being a racial stereotype of African Americans by Carol Boston Weatherford, which coincides with Jinx's design being altered in the games over time. After finding this episode on some obscure website and checking it out, I was left a little disappointed. Now, don't get me wrong, I never expected this episode to be the greatest thing of all time. I just figured there would be more to it overall. The plot is very bare bones. Ash and co come across a Jinx holding a boot all alone. They soon discover that it's one of Santa's Jinxes and decides to help it get back to the North Pole. Team Rocket follow in suit, tie up Santa and try to steal the presents. That's the plot wrapped up in a nice little Christmas bow. It feels like the writers were relying on the novelty of having Christmas be such a key theme that the plot didn't matter. To some degree, they could get away with this, but I feel all in all like nothing really happened. The most significant thing was Jinx being reunited with Santa. To me, it felt a bit wasted, especially as this is essentially the only mention of the festivities in the whole anime. If I'm being honest, I really don't think Ash and his friends were necessary to the plot. The opening hook for the episode features Team Rocket, or more specifically, Jesse as the lead. They set a trap for Santa in order to steal the presents, which ties to the exposition Jessie states about how she felt robbed as a child, that one of Santa's jinxes stole her toy and left back up the chimney. This idea is good and has potential, not only for plot, but to flesh out a member of Team Rocket even more. Following on from this, I would have had the plot follow a similar plot beat, except I would have Team Rocket kidnap the lost jinx and force it to show them how to get to the North Pole. Once there, it would make sense for Team Rocket to do their usual thing, tie up Santa and attempt to rob him. I would make it more of a personal journey for Jessie with her loading up the stolen goods and flashing back to more Christmases where she stopped believing, highlighting how miserable she was. Then do the reveal of the Jinx trying to repair her childhood toy but not being able to return it after she stopped believing in the holidays, leaving her conflicted. I think something like this tightens the plot, gives Team Rocket a spotlight and uses the Christmas setting a lot better. It still baffles me that Pokemon has a Christmas episode in the mainstream anime. I know this episode appeared in its first season where the rules of the world were a bit more fluid in terms of real world references and ties along with pop culture, but still, it seems like a weird thing for them to commit to. I know this is aimed at a younger audience so the plot shouldn't be overly complicated, but this one just felt empty. It all felt a bit tame and basic. If the plot was going to be non-existent like this, then they should have made it more exciting. You have Team Rocket stealing from Santa. Why not have them blow up the North Pole or get into a full-on Pokemon battle with all of the Jinxes? Let the audience see Santa is a formidable Pokemon trainer when he needs to be. So, Pokemon's Christmas episode was way too safe and fairly boring in my opinion. But that's just my thoughts on this. I would love to hear what you all think in comments down below. If you liked what you saw, can you please hit that like button and subscribe? It will help my channel continue to grow. Stay close as I try to post new content as often as possible.